Hi everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome on in to North Dakota today. Well, it is time to get the week started off right. We have blog author Amanda Kozier here of North Dakota. Nice blog back in studio to share all of the wonderful stories taking place in our region. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful to see you. Yes, you as well. <laughs> a brand new week, a yep. bright kickstart, jumpstart for those of us looking to feel good on our Monday morning. So what's going on? Yes, well, we're going to start with something that's very feel good. So there's a group in Grand Forks called Arts for Vets, mm. and I found out about them because I had someone send me one of the artists and said you should talk about him on uh, North Dakota Today. Everyone's going to love him. And so I reached out to ask him some questions and he said, I am not worthy of this. There are so <gasps> many better people in this organization. Mm -hmm. And I said, I will be the judge of that. <laughs> I, I never take that as an answer. Everybody is worthy. Uh, but I tell you what, what I discovered is that this is an incredible organization okay. and everybody is very worthy. So um, it started in 2015 with eight people at a kitchen table who wanted to help the vets and the veterans and active service, active duty service members in North Dakota, um, our Grand Forks, especially the Grand Forks region. Mm -hmm have different ways to express themselves through art, through music, through poetry. Wow. So eight people in 2015, they have 1,200 artists now today. This is just such an important program. So you can see some of the art. They, um, they started originally because servicemen and women, vets um, and vets, they are such an important part of mm -hmm. American society, mm -hmm. but they also live outside of it. They feel very separated from it. And so the arts program is a great way to bring them in, make them a part of the community, and of course, art is very therapeutic for, for those who do need some kind of therapies or just different ways to express themselves. Wow. Um, they uh, have a gr bunch of, they have a million programs. They have three permanent exhibits in North Dakota, or Grand Forks that rotate, but then they also do a ton of them throughout the year. They did one, some of the, this right here is called A Perfect Show, <laughs> where they had um, 40 of the artists uh, create art around cats. They did one program around um, Maurice Sendak and where the wild things are, but then they also do um, important topics around being a vet and a, being a service person, mm. service man and woman. They did one called the trauma room where they would put up a piece of art and someone who would come in and see it and then they could interact and communicate with the artist about their story wow. around that piece. And so it was, it was a wonderful way to, to educate the public and also just give these artists outlets um, and then they also had another one called In Memoriam, where family members could send in art from their family members who had passed. So they do so many wonderful things. They, um, I'm not even gonna let you talk at all, Ashlyn, I'm sorry. There's no, I'm, I this have, no, this is beautiful. I actually <laughs> yeah. love this. I, I, I have a very big military family, so this is, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, this is beautiful. I, I think it, so this group has set up, one of the things that um, I think was really interesting is that they have people, artists from all walks of life. Yeah. And so they had one individual who was, is, was homeless. Um, he came to the group homeless and with a very a lot of stressors around PTSD yeah. and now he's doing wonderfully he lives in the cities and actually speaks on PTSD yeah. but one of the things that he said is that when I first started in this group when I walk around town people would call me that homeless guy and now they wow. say oh there goes that artist that I is know is beautiful that Isn't could that? give you chills I know and so it's just I mean I think there's just so much better well first of all there is so much benefit that they just keep getting asked to do more and more for the community they yeah. have a gazillion free programs they have free art classes they have a metal arts teacher they have a stained glass teacher mm -hmm. they have a native american beading teacher yeah. they do cooking classes they actually help other groups around the country get set up with this so like wow. it is they are doing absolutely incredible things and yeah, the art is amazing we're gonna need you to drop that link to the blog and yeah. and to the program i know so i have so much stuff yeah. on this that i'm gonna put it all on northdakotanice.com yeah. after this probably tonight just so you guys are aware i'm traveling to bismarck after this <laughs> um uh the but the um they are very 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 active yeah. online on social media they have a huge volunteer network so it's called arts for vets Go right now and join them. Like they are just wonderful people and they're doing such great things. Yeah, and you tell that man very worthy of sharing. I know. He I, tried to say no. I'm mm -mm -mm. not taking no on this. <laughs> I can tell you, I, I think everybody, I have every every time I hear somebody who they say, oh, I'm not worthy, when I spoke to them about this individual, they're like, oh, he's the best. Yeah. Of course he is. And that's how it always goes. That's why I started doing this. Love it. Okay, before we let you go, we have a second one, right? Yep, we have okay. a second one we're going to talk about. So speaking of the arts and enjoying the day, we have a beautiful summer, spring and summer coming up here. Yeah. And for those of you who maybe want to have your own outlet for mental well-being and just feeling good, birding is something that I don't know if we all think about. Nice. Yes, there yeah. are a gazillion studies about how, like if you listen to bird sounds, 
you have mental ease for like up to eight hours or something. I mean, really? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> YouTube's anyway. bird sounds. I know. Does it work <laughs> at 4 a.m.? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> 4 a.m. is when the bird's outside my window. My husband's always like, I'm going to close the window. And I say, no, we are enjoying nature. We need this. Nature. We're yes. grounding. We are grounding ourselves for That's the funny. day. So, um, we have 114 bird species in North Dakota. Okay. Uh, Everybody can do be a bird. It's called birding. It's not called bird watching, which I found out. Gotcha. Everyone can be a birder. You don't have to be an expert birder. If you are able to identify birds, you are a birder. All uh, <laughs> seven or eight of the state <laughs> parks have bird guides. Yeah. So you can go. Yep. We, have, we have wildlife refuges. We have uh, marshes. We have all sorts of places for people to see the birds yep. around here that are it's so incredible. We have a great landscape for this. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, here's how you be a birder. <laughs> you do not need binoculars. You do not need anything. You need the ability to move slowly. Okay. So expert birders will go, uh, it'll take them one hour to go one mile. Like they walk Whoa. so slowly. Okay, yep. Yep, it's intense. So you have to go slowly. And you also, you, you don't want to just keep looking up at the sky. You have to look at the ground because mm -hmm. like Lake Metagoshi, for example, has turtles. So Cute. Like, yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you want to do birding in your own house, if you're like, I don't want to go to a state park, which you should reconsider that. Um, uh, right now is a great time to put out oranges, grapes, mm. and grape jelly okay. for hummingbirds and orioles. Yeah. But we're also getting into duck season. This is a very big migratory and nesting time. Yep. So everybody needs to go out and keep an eye out for birds and help. Oh, oh, and don't <laughs> feed them. Oh, gosh, I forgot this. You go to a state park, they were like, don't tell everybody, don't feed them. Right. Don't, they don't need any help. They don't need your help. You can feed them in your yard. Don't feed them in real life. Got it. Sorry. Tis the season. No, we're coming back to life up in the great north. We do, unfortunately, have to end the segment. I'm sorry. Now. No, no, no. It's always incredible. This is why we love Mondays. It's always the best. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me, Ashley. <laughs> There's more show happening right here after the break. <laughs>